Hey guys. Wow, what a year I've had and what an experience that I went from this little country town. Yes, we're back on the farm now with all the flies, aren't we boy? <laughs> to the big bright lights of the Las Vegas city so that I could finally fulfill my transformation goal, my dream at the end of it all to step onto the Las Vegas stage. If I was to go back now, I do think so differently. I made so many mistakes over the course of this experience. I really did feel like this little country girl lost in the middle of a big city. I felt like a fish out of water and it was really overwhelming at times but I learned so much from the experience. Overall, I just feel like so much stronger, so much wiser, more knowledgeable, and overall just a better person. One thing I've learned is that you dream of this one moment, and that's everything that you're working towards. But at the end of the day, it really wasn't about that. It's about the entire journey. One thing my dad taught me is to never give up hope, never stop dreaming and that life can be short. So make the most of every precious moment that you have. You know that I believe in having big dreams and making them a reality. But whilst you're striving for these big things, it's really important to learn to love and appreciate what you have right here, right now. I get a lot of people say to me, Stacey, I wish I had what you had. I wish I had this exciting life where I'm jet setting about. I wish I had your body. But I've had a couple of kids now. I've put on weight. I'm really tired all the time. And hey, I know what that feels like. I've been there. I, I've been overweight. I've been stressed out. I've been depressed. <laughs> and I can help you with that. You know, because you can change and you can be everything that you want to be. But sometimes you just need to have a look around at what you have right now. Because what you have may be exactly what somebody else wants. I wish I had my own little family. I can't wait to find my Prince Charming and settle down and live happily ever after. But hey, it hasn't happened for me yet. But everything happens for a reason. And in the meantime, my beautiful boyfriend, Bo Rock here, <laughs> is keeping me more than happy. And my little dream chasing expeditions will keep me busy. In 2014, I have bigger dreams. And thank goodness I've learned that there is an easier way. It doesn't have to be so hard. It's about training smarter, not harder. It's about training sexier, and it's about training spunkier. So, I will be back soon. In the meantime, have a spunkalicious year and may all your dreams come true. So just before I left, I had one postcard left over and I decided to send it home to myself. And it says, let this postcard be a reminder of what is important to me. Most of all, to be happy. Secondly, to be proud of who I am, what I believe in, the decisions I make, the people I love and how far I've come. Keep believing. If things don't happen now, it's because a bigger dream is waiting to come true just around the corner.